فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم So now inshallah we're going to talk about the qawaid the qawaid of um, uh, or a fiqh the qawaid uh, and the wabid for, for da'wah so it's going to be qawaid principles uh, and the wabid the difference between a qa'id and a wabid is qa'id enters every chapter and a wabid is specific in a particular chapter that's the difference so we're going to take qawaid and the wabid okay in matters pertaining to da'wah okay um, so inshallah Hope brothers uh, benefit from it, inshallah, and sisters. The first qa'idah that we're going to take is إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ Also known as الْأُمُورُ بِمَقَاصِدِهَا Which is also known as الْأُمُورُ بِمَقَاصِدِهَا Which is, it means matters are what is intended from it. Matters are what is intended from it. <laughs> Um, you, you all probably know that there are five qawaid which are, are unanimously agreed upon all the scholars. And this is called qawaid al kubra. There's five that are unanimously agreed on. This is from one of the agreed upon qawaid. The rest, not all madhab takes it on. But these five, all the madhab they take it on. All madhabs believe this. And this is the first one of the five. It has a, high, it has a big effect. In da'wah, in fiqh, in everything, intentions are what it, actions are what is intended from it. And that's why Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said, the hadith inna al-a'malu bin niyat thuluthul ilm. It's one third of the religion. ويدخل, and it enters fi sab'ina baba min al-fiqh, and it enters seventy chapters of fiqh. So it enters seventy chapters of fiqh. So it's one third of the religion. Let's and uh, me explain the qaida. In the al amal is is the plural of the word amal, actions. And niyat is the jam of the word niyyah. Wa hiya ma yanwi al insanu bi qalbihi min khayr aw shar. And it is what the person intends in his heart, whether it's good or bad. So what does it mean generally? So we explain it word for word. What is it overall meaning for it is? It basically means in al afala wa tasarrufat, actions, and that which a person does, all of it is governed by um, intention. All of it is governed by intention. As for the the the, 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 def, the effect that it has in the eyes of the fuqaha, um, is that in al hukma. الذي يترتب على أمر يكون على مقتضى المقصود من ذلك الأمر. فقيا in fiqh they say that the ruling pertaining to this matter it is in accordance to the intention. This action, sorry, this uh, the ruling of this matter, whether it's wajib, whether it's sunnah, whether it's um, sorry, whether it's wajib, uh, uh, sorry, whether it's uh, ibadah and whether it's mubah. All of it is pertained by, by the person's intention, what he, what he intends from it. And some rulings that are in, um, in this matter. Some ahkam that are connected to it that we're going to mention. And we're going to mention four, inshallah, bi'ithni lahil kareem. Four ahkam, four rulings that are connected to it. First one is, inna manzilat al niyyah. The stay the rank or the position of the intention with actions. من حيث ترتب الثواب وعدم على ثلاث أحوال. The the position that the intention has with knowledge. In terms of reward, is of three levels. That's the first one. The first one is. The first one of the three is النيّة الصالحة المجردة عن العمل A good intention Pure intention is for the sake of Allah 
Good intention. That person gets rewarded for it. The second one is So the first one, what did I say? Intention? Good, without no actions. Without the first one. It's good intention, purely good intention, but no actions with it. The person gets rewarded for it. The second one is action without any intention. He won't get rewarded for it. He doesn't have good intention. He doesn't get rewarded for it. The third one is a person who has good intention. He intended good. And he did what, what he was able to do. He did what he was... He did what he was uh, able to do. He did what he was able to do and he didn't finish it. He gets the reward of a person who done the action. He, want, he had the intention. He, wanted, he stood up. He wanted to embark. But he wasn't able to do it. He couldn't complete it. He couldn't complete the intention that he had it. Are you with me? A person wanted to go and give uh, sadaqah to somebody, but for a re one reason or another, he wasn't able to go. He couldn't complete his intention. He gets the reward of the person who did it. He gets it. Like a person, he went to a masjid, he wrote himself, uh, registered himself as a, uh, as a uh, student to memorize the Qur'an. He wrote himself down, he had the intention. But one way and another, he was unable to finish the, that intention he had. That person gets the reward of a uh, hafid. That's the first point, inshallah, with those three different... So that's how the intention is in regards to the... In, ter in terms of reward. You with me? The second one is, these are ahkam that are pertaining to it. The second one is, Intention may have, may take place generally. Or it may take, or it may take place specifically. Or it may take place by way of necessity. The first one, it takes place generally. The second one, it takes place Specifically, and the third one, it takes place um, by way of necessity. And the intention differs. The intention, it differs. It differs. That some are better than others. Some are better than others. Nah, that's the second one. The third one is the sec th third one is in the Adam Utibari Niya not considering intention. Not considering a person's intention in his actions. Not considering a person's intention in his actions, will necessitate bad result in, in, in it, it will result in bad outcome. So first, a mufti doesn't take into consideration the person's intent of the matter. He can destroy the whole fatwa. If he forsakes the intent of the person. For example, a person killed another, two people killed. Two people killed, in, in, uh, so two people come into your office, one killed this person and one killed another person. And what do you do? You order both of them to be killed. You order both of them, is that correct? Why? One could have done it deliberately and wanted to kill him, and one was by accident. Are they both going to be killed? No. So what changed both of them? 
So without taking the intention into consideration, it causes a lot of destruction in fatwas and not knowing it. So that's ah, a lot of ahkam is based on people's intent, why they did it. The fourth one is, the fourth one is, every action that is not intended in the, for the faith, it, it is not intended for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake, for batil, it is batil. All the ahkam that the scholars took from in the mal'amal bin not, not these four, but these are the main four, four. Any action that a person does, that there is no intention for the sake of Allah in it, then this action is nullified, void, doesn't exist. Because it's one of the pillars of every action. Sah? Al ikhlas. Ikhlas is not in this action. Void. It doesn't exist. Batil in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the evidence for this principle? Where does this what's the evidence? The first one, of course, is the hadith of Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where the messenger said, Inna mal amalu bin niyat wa inna malu kulli mri'in ma nawa. Fa man kanat hijratu ila Allah wa rasuli, hijratu ila Allah wa rasuli. Wa man kanat hijratu li dunya yusibuha wa imratin. So that hadith is a what? Is the backbone of this principle. Shaykh Al-Sam ibn Taymiyyah, he said in his Majmu'a Al-Fatawa, he said, Kalimatun Jami'atun Kamila. It's a comprehensive word. Or, Inna Mal Amal Bidat is a comprehensive sentence. Complete comprehensive sentence. Because the intention for the action is like the soul for the body. The intention, the intention, the niyyah is what? For the, for the action is like the soul is for the body. That's how the intention is for the action. Also the second evidence for it, um, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, um, salam, wa fi bud'i ahadikum sadaqah. That one of you his sexual intimacy with his wife, there's ajr in it. It's a sadaqah. So one of you has intimacy with his wife, it's a sadaqah. Um, and that's the word bud'a. Um, uh, bud'a means al jima'a. It means jima'a, sexual intercourse. That's how it's in Ibn Athir's kitab, Al Nihayat fi Gharib al Hadith. Ahadukum sadaqah. Qalu ya Rasulullah, the companions, they said, Ya Rasul, O Messenger of Allah, ayati ahaduna shahwata. Is it possible that one of us does? He fulfills his desires. And then he gets rewarded for it. The messenger said, Do you not see that if he was to fulfill it in haram, he would have get haram. Would he be sinning? Would he gain sin by going and doing in haram his desires? The companions, they said, yes. Then the Prophet said, And the same is what? If he puts it into halal, he gets a reward for it. Sahih? So this hadith shows that when the person, if I, this hadith is a, a pre evidence for what? That any time a person, he busies himself with something which is mubah, to leave off a haram, he gets rewarded for that intention. This hadith is an evidence to show that if a person busies himself in a matter which is haram, uh, mubah, mubah, he does something which is mubah. But the reason why he does this mubah is that he wants to stay away from a haram. He gets rewarded for the intention and the action, both of them. He gets rewarded for the intention and he also gets rewarded for the action. Another evidence to show is the hadith where the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi has said, Ja'a rajul ila nabi, the hadith of Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, um, that a man came to the Messenger and he said, Ya Rasulallahi, a rajul, a man who fights, yuqatilu hamiyyatan. A man fights because he, doesn't, he can't accept his people to be humiliated, his tribe, he just cannot take it. You see? He does tribal reasons or, you know, nationalism. Another man fights out of courage. And another one, another one fights because he wants to show off. People say, wow, that guy is a warrior. Which of these are for the sake of Allah? The messenger said, The one who fights so Allah's word, La ilaha illallah, can be high. That is the one who... He is the one who is fighting in the cause of Allah. So if a person fights for freeing his land, he, gets, he doesn't get it. Another person who fights, shuja doesn't get it. 
Another person who fights Riyad doesn't get it. So here, ponder, pay attention. All of these people are fighting. Do they share the actions? Yes. What's the difference? The intention. They're all the same in the action. They're all fighting. The one that's fighting for nationalism, the one that's fighting for show off, the one that's fighting for courage, all of them are really fighting. So the mushtarak fil af'al. The tasarrufat and the af'al is the same. The differences between all of them is what? The intent of why everyone's fighting for. Another evidence to show you the intent and the evidence for this qa'idah, this principle, and the last one, inshallah, um, is the hadith where the messenger said in one of his, in Ghazwa to Tabuk, the, the, the invasion or, and the battle of the Tabuk, the messenger said, In in the city of Medina are men. You guys have not, you have not cut a distance. And you have not cut a valley. Except those people in Medina are with you guys. Illness is what prevented them from being with you guys. They wanted to. They had the intention you guys have. Something stopped them from going. Something stopped them from going. So they are with you guys. Even that though they're not walking like you guys are. They're not traveling like you guys are traveling. But every single distance in which you guys have cut. And every valley and every land that you guys went through, they are with you guys. Hadith is collected by Bukhari and Muslim. Uh, so all of these are what? Indication to show that the intention and its preposition. Now, this principle, sub-branch. So now, we, now we've spoken about the meaning, sahih? We spoke about the meaning of the inna mal amal bin niyat, the qa'ida. We did it. And we, the, the way we defined it was in two ways. We done it and uh, uh, we mentioned mufradat al-kalimat, each word what it meant, the first one. And also what it meant generally. Then we moved on to the next one, which is, we talked about the ahkam pertaining to it. And we divided that into four. And then after that, we talked about the evidence for this qa'ida, which is the third one. And now we're going to move on to the fourth one, which is furu'u al-qa'ida. Sub branches that come from this qa'ida, sub branches that come down from this qa'ida. And this is applying to the people who are giving da'wah. How can this qa'ida apply to them? One, la yajuzu, it is not permissible. Qiyamu shakhsi for a person to stand. Fi hawa nafsi li jalbi dunya. A person is not allowed for him to stand for his desire of himself to gain the world. Or daf'i madarratin dunyawiya. Or to push a worldly harm and he leaves that makhraj al-amr bin ma'ruf wa na'i al-munkar a person he stands up for his own worldly gain hawa nafsi he wants publicity he wants views he wants uh, respect from the community he stands up and he stands up it's not permissible and he uses as a means Al-amru bil ma'roof wa nahi anil munkar. So the nahi, uh, according to the good and prohibit the evil, the intent behind it is the publicity, the fame, the number, and the gathering. That person, he went against this qa'idah. That the intention is what he's got, so he's not going to get rewarded for what he's doing. Because the intention isn't there. Good. The third thing, second thing is, the second thing uh, is that it is it's prohibited. Idharul ghibah, it is prohibited backbiting. Lin nasi for the people, it's back, it's prohibited to backbite the people. Fi qalibi ta'ajjub, in using it by in a way of amazement. So you say so and so said this. Inna lillahi wa. You're using it in an angle of that you are amazed with it. Or you are trying to put the persons in which you are backbiting, you want to benefit from your situation. You want to gain publicity or name or fame out of it. Or you sometimes even may show yourself to be what? You are angry for the sake of Allah and that you are doing inkarul munkar. And you are doing inkarul munkar. That you are stopping the evil. 
and then you speak nicely and eloquent to the community, this is what? The intention, you're not going to get rewarded for it. Why? Because the, the issue is your intention, not the evil that you're stopping. So you're not going to get rewarded for it. The fourth thing is, which is, يَجِبُ hajru أَصْحَابُ الْبِدْعِ وَالْمُنْكَرَاتِ It is mandatory to uh, uh, boycott the people of innovation and the people who do evil in the open. <coughs> if a person is committing zina, Allah, a person is doing zina in the open, he's drinking khamar in the open, and the list goes on, uh, then that person should be boycotted. Should be. Mandatory that he's boycotted. And he should be warned against. And his evil should be exposed and told to the people. And to warn the people from his evil. All of that has to be done. ابتغاء الأجر من الله The person has to do it with sincerity. Ikhlas. لا لهوى النفوس You can't do it because you have a, a, a hawa in you. A desire. You just personally don't like the person. So now you, you go out of your way. Start, start to look for his shortcomings. And then his shortcomings you try to make it look like you're defending the religion. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنُ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ Allah knows what's in your heart. Allah knows what your eyes are trying to deceive the people with. The fifth thing is, uh, sorry, the fourth one is, the fourth, يَجِبُ It is mandatory عَلَى الْعُلَمَاء It is mandatory upon the scholars وَالدُّعَاتِ And those who are calling to the path of Allah عِنْدَ الصَّدْعِ بِالْحَقِّ When the haq becomes clear to them that they go and they mention the haq. والجهربي, and that they speak it out open, loud. All of it. أن يكون ذلك ابتغاء وجه الله That there is an intent for the sake of Allah in it. لا لقصد العلو في الأرض أو الفساد You shouldn't do it because you want the people to take you up and put your, your position up. Or you want to cause calm and destruction on the earth. ولذلك ابن تيمي رحمه الله said لو تكلم المتكلم بالحق If a person speaks the truth بحق بحق لقصد العلو He speaks the truth with the truth All of it is حق is حق The belief is حق He brings truth to the table لكن his intent is what? العلو في الأرض His intent is to go high on the earth أو الفساد Or he wants to cause corruption on the earth كان بمنزلة الذي يقاتل حمية ورياء He is like the one who fights out of nationalism or the one that fights to show off. وَإِن تَكَلَّمَ لِأَجْلِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَىٰ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ But if he speaks for the sake of Allah with sincerity in his heart and he speaks the truth, then he becomes the mujahid, the one who's fighting لِتَكُونَ كَرِيمَةَ اللَّهِ هِيَ الْعُلْيَىٰ And he becomes مِنْ وَرَثَةِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ The inheritors of the prophets. خُلَفَاءِ الرُّسُلِ Those who come after the prophets and take their position with truth. Last but not least, which is the fifth one, يجب على من يفتي الناس It is mandatory, mandatory on the one who is doing nasiha sessions or giving people fatwa is ويعلمهم and he is teaching them أن ينظر إلى البواعث على الأعمال He looks at what the intent of the action was for. Why was the action done for? He looks at it. لأن لها تأثير because it has an effect in the fatwa and the ruling. وَبِسَبَبِ إِهْمَالِ هَذَا الْأَصْلِ حَصَلَ غَلَضٌ كَثِيرٌ And forsaking, forsaking the people's reasoning and why they do matters, it causes what? It causes a lot of harm and a lot of problems. A lot of problems. 